guys. Right, still at Detectiveville, day two. Lose my voice a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so we're getting ready. Obviously, you've all heard about the hoard that's found. Right, well, I've been over to um, the tents over at the main arena. Um, I decided I'm going to pimp my ride. When I say pimp my ride, what we're we using, let me spin the camera around a second. Yeah. Let me spin it around. There's the old Noxie, look. What have we got? What have we got? Carbon shafts. Searcher bag. We've got a new coil. Woohoo! Here's the boys, look. Not ready. Nine o'clock horn's gone. Looking at, at mine. Like. Yeah, yeah, that's the Keep thing. changing your uh, oh, tank. Five, six or seven of them. Oh, yeah. Thumbnail makes a lot of difference on yeah. getting new ones on the YouTube. Now nah, you're right. People totally oh, wouldn't know yet. Yeah. I got juice. Oh, I got juice. Analytics thing. I'm doing my juice. Some yeah, juice. Yeah. What do I do with my juice? There it is. There. But if you don't have the thumbnail, it don't stick out. Honestly, I've got loads of juice. Yeah, thanks. You lose them. Yeah, 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 I haven't had that. 60 I had loads of people say it. 60? He's had about 10. Really? We had a recent subscriber and Rick the Bell. Why? Uh, who else? We've got a bottle tonight. 50 mil. 50 mil? Uh, there's somebody yeah, else. Oh, you're going to give me a 50 mil bottle? I was going to give you a 50 mil. No, no, no. Bugger. All right, guys. This is the area we're doing at the moment. Supposed to have been uh, a Roman building of some description down here. Seems over there, look. There you go. He's digging away, he's quite happy. Finding trash, he says, yeah, same here. A few shotgun shells so far. But we live and hope. Right, let's see you on the next one. There we go. Live. Roman now. Roman now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. How's the tech feel going for you? How is How is the tech feel going for you? It's good. Find it much? The beer is good, the food is good, the music's great. A bit loud. But the vibes? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Really? Oh. Alright, now a couple of bands have moved. As you can see how close I was to Rob Random. He wasn't that far away, actually. Just, like, a couple of rows away. Right, the uh, next one. Yeah, a little buckle. Nothing special, it's not in brass, I think it's iron. Looks of it. Hmm. Iron bollocks it. There's no way you'd have an iron buckle like that. There you go. Alright guys, we're in the last couple of hours now for uh, Detectiveville. Not really, uh, <laughs> not really so many people out now. A lot of people have gone back to the marquee to socialise and have a drink and a few burgers and say their farewells to new friends and old. But, um, I'm still on a hunt for elusive Roman. So uh, I'll keep going until, uh, until either I get one or the detective bill finishes, whichever comes first. Right, number 12. I'm pretty sure it's going to be shotgun cartridge. A tiny little clasp. That's cool. It could be of a book. Or something. Yeah. Copper. 
could be off a book. Maybe. Anyway. Right. We've got a 12. So we're going to take this one live. Still in the plug. Not in the plug, in the hole. Probably going to be a uh, shotgun cartridge. Most Roman coins have been found. Tiny, tiny little things. So I've gone on to field one, which is far more sensitive in my view. And I'm picking up like phew, things that are almost the size of a pinhead, but still haven't found a Roman. Maybe one little tape, baby tiny little ones. We live in hope. Of course, you got to walk over it to find it. I think even Robert Random found one today. Mm. I assume it's a shotgun cartridge, but it's hollow. I can't see it being anything else than that, because it's got that ring around it there. So, probably shotgun cartridge, and the same as right out, by the looks of it. Can't see it being, yeah. It's got to be a shotgun cartridge. Got to be. Oh well. On to the next one. And the very last find, Spring Detective 2019, here's a little 2 2 pillar case. Cool. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Alright, guys, uh, a Spring Detective all done. Done, dusted. This is my home, my little RV, if you like. That's why I stayed for the weekend, didn't wrap it in the tent, all the other peasants. There's a few stragglers still behind. Let's have a quick look. Pretty much all, oh, I still cut the tents up. Three little tents. And uh, yeah, it's all looking quite deserted now. Okay, spring tech fill done. Box ticked. And it's time to go home. Cheers, thanks for watching everyone. Catch you later. Hi everyone, right, I'm back from uh, Detective 2019. What you can see in front of me is a board with a few stickers I picked up. Um, I think I picked up more actually, but it must be still beside the caravan. These are just ones I put into a bag. I'll quickly go over them. Um, Steam Pecker made this big sticker up. Awesome, good job, thank you very much. Uh, obviously we've got a Steam Pecker sticker now, didn't have that before. Got a Rob Random sticker. I don't know if it's many people got one of them, eh? Uh, Grim Bleeper, Lucas. Briefly met him, had a quick chat. Uh, Aaron. Uh, well, everyone knows Aaron, don't they? Yeah, let's dig. Um, Jet Ski John. Ash Unearthed. Um, I think that's one of his older stickers, though, to be honest. I think he's yeah, got a, a bigger one or a more updated one. This one came actually in the, in the bag. A goodie bag that he got. Uh, that came in the goodie bag as well. A uh, little patch. 2019, I don't know, I'll probably put it on my hat or something, rather more than likely. Uh, bottle opener. Mine have bottle opener. I'll probably put that in the give giveaway, to be honest with you. Um, Huntress Kimmy Club of the Scop. Didn't get a card from them. I don't know if they got a card, but I did get their little badge that they put. Well, badge. It's a hammered coin, a wooden hammered coin, which is really cool. Something unique. I haven't seen one of them before. Uh, Aaron made these badges up. I said in my last video, not my last video, my last video of detecting, not at Detectiveville, that if I bump into Aaron, I'm going to get some badges off him. So they will go in a giveaway as well, once I get around to doing that. 
Uh, what else we get? Yeah, we've got a goodie bag. My lab one this time. Last year was the uh, Nocta Macro, because that was their big release. So we've got a mine lab bag. Um, the colour bits of paper in it as well. A little bit of a chain ball, but I didn't actually read them. Uh, what else we get? Yeah. I've got a mine lab hat. Well, I'm a mine lab man, so I'm probably going to keep that. That's not going to go going in the giveaway. I like my little mine lab hat. I've got one of these already, but uh, it's had a bit of wear. There's a nice brand new one. I think I put my sticker on there. Um, yeah, we had a brilliant time. So me and the wife, we went up there. Yeah. Some people you, you, you met, like you sit on YouTube, and one of the first people I come across actually was Rob Random, standing up at the bar, wearing his um, coat of many colours, shall we say, his Technicolor Dream coat. Uh, he was a little bit smaller than I anticipated. <laughs> but I'm not very tall anyway, so yeah, he was about my height. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I was talking about height-wise, Ben, the giant metal detectorist, I know why he's called Giant Metal Detectors now. He's huge. He's like monster huge. He's massive. Um, didn't get one of his cards. I don't know if he has a card. Didn't get one of his cards. Uh, yeah, Ben and Sarah. So we met them. Uh, what else did we meet? Uh, oh, gosh. Who else did we meet? Uh, we met Colin Simpson. Stimpson. Um, nice fellow. In fact, I spent most of the weekend with him and... Rob Random and Steve Petkin. We went round together, the four amigos. You saw a picture of us there earlier on on YouTube. We were about the four of us posing by the uh, Mine Lab inflatable at the entrance. Um, who else we meet? Yeah, you know what? There's so many different people I met, and I, some bit is a bit of a blur, of course, in the evenings. Um, it was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. Everyone was chatting to everyone. You didn't need to know anyone. You just started talking to everyone, you know. So, yeah, had a good time socially. A good time on the fields. I walked a lot of distance, though, to be honest. Up over there. It was a huge area. And the woods was massive. Absolutely massive. Um, it took me a little while to get through them, actually. I don't know if I went back on myself or what. It took me a while to get through them woods. Um, yeah, my hips are killing me. They're still aching now, actually. Um, from two, four days of detecting. Well, actually, I tell a lie, because the first day we've done mostly was an hour and chat, you know. Um, it's like walk, detect for 100 metres, and we'll sort of stop and have a chat. Um, yeah, to socialise, and just had a crack. And do you know what? It was, it was uh, quite surreal to one respect. There's like the likes of Rob Random, uh, Steve Petkin, etc., um, spoke to him online, never actually met him, in, you know, in, uh, in face to face, but it, it was just like as if I knew him already, you know, but realistically they're, they're actual kind of strangers really, I've never met them before, um, yeah, it was just, it made us feel so welcome, as, as did everyone, so we had a great laugh and I, I highly recommend going to the next Detectorville, if you've got any, um, inclination about that, I highly recommend that. Um, I didn't find it a great deal to be honest. Um, my own fault, really. I should put into. So I, I'm a beach man, um, and I'm normally I discriminate smaller targets out because I don't want to find little. Because the Knox, for instance, is such a sensitive machine, it will find the tiniest, tiny little thing. Um, but I, I had it more set for. Well, I didn't feel too, which which kind of discriminates out the tiny, tiny little things. Um, and most of the Romans that are found in that, that sheep field, if you like, everyone that I saw in there that people found were tiny little things, you know. Uh, I don't know what, what they're called, but uh, about the size of a baked bean. You know, they were really small, and I should have gone into that setting on, in field one straight away. But there you go, live and learn. Um, yeah, so I didn't get any Romans. That was my intention to find a Roman. Actually, I'll tell you what they look like. Here you go. That's about the size of most of the Romans. Uh, Menim, I think mean they call them. That was about the size of most of the coins that I, I saw. This isn't a coin. This is a, it's a whole knockout from one of the coin rings. Yeah, so um, I, didn't, I didn't find any Roman. So the, the hunt's still on. That elusive Roman will be mine eventually. Oh yes, you will be mine. Um, I think the best find I had, which I didn't put in any videos, 
isn't actually a metal detecting spine, but it was found whilst metal detecting, which was this. It's a um, deer's antler. So it's a five, what do you call it, a five, five horn? I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I only found a one low, not two, so I didn't get the full pair. But uh, yeah, once I sand that down, that will look quite nice, and I'll probably do something with it. I'll work out what I'm going to do with it, do something with it. Uh, knife handle, door handle, handle them shed door, I don't know. Uh, or I'll mount it, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Keep, keep you posted, perhaps. Right, uh, yeah, I'm going to round it up now. So, fine wise, hardly found anything realistically. <laughs> I've had better days on the beach, shall we say. Uh, would I go again? Socially, most definitely. Brilliant, you know. Um, probably can't wait to meet up with the guys again. Um, yeah, socially, definitely. Fine wise, but for me personally, I didn't really find anything great, as you know. Um, some guys did, a lot of people did, um, yeah, but I didn't, <laughs> uh, obviously the guys that found the hoard, which you saw a few pictures earlier, um, they, they found, you know, I, I don't even know how many coins they found in the end, uh, room I heard was 500 silvers and 12 gold, they displayed a little bit in the tent for a little while, but I don't think it was the whole hoard, um, yeah, so there was stuff there, you just didn't find it. But a lot of people did find Romans, which is what a lot of guys went out there for. Um, not for me that day. Okay, anyway, I'm going to round it up. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you on, on the next one. Cheers. Bye.